Welcome to my weekly roundup. Well, this week the government unveiled some of its plans for lifting lockdown restrictions, but they were very confusing. So, for example, hairdressers can open, but not beauty parlours. And rather worryingly, it's looking at re releasing restrictions on licensing for 18 months. That will take us through next summer as well as this summer. And there's already problems in Hackney with antisocial behaviour, huge costs to the council and time needed by police and council wardens to police the behaviour. So there's a lot that the government needs to get right and it's rushing through new legislation with hardly any scrutiny uh, on Monday, uh, which worries me a lot. So all of you, please be careful as well. We're in the middle of a pandemic and the government is easing restrictions at a rate of knots and the priority must be public health. So please be cautious. The Public Accounts Committee continued our work looking at how the government's handling COVID-19, focusing on the reckless discharge of people from hospitals into care homes, where of course they're supported by staff who are among the lowest paid in the system. And I was able to raise this point in a debate in the House when I talked about the contracted out workers working in our NHS hospital trusts. The government provides our hospitals with funding on the basis that it doesn't ever really pay for the full complement of staff and it bakes in these low paid contracted out workers who clean our hospitals and provide other vital ancillary services. They work alongside our nurses, our doctors and other health professionals. They face the same risks but they're on lower pay, poor sick pay and poor conditions. If they face those risks they should have the same rewards.